His name is Michael Hastings. Armed only with my family tree and my increasing obsession with the subject, I went to tell the man who should be King Michael I the good news. As I drove into Gerildaree, New South Wales, population 1100 plus one king, I began to realise how daft this might look. I knew he was in town. I'd phoned him from Britain and told him we were looking into the descendants of the Plantagenets. But otherwise, King Michael was in the dark. Twelve thousand miles, two and a half days, and a lot of jet lag, and uh, I'm finally here. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure how to play this. I mean, if someone turned up on your doorstep and said, "Excuse me, do you know that you're the King of England?" You'd be a bit surprised, wouldn't you? Particularly if they had uh, a director with them and a sound man and a cameraman. So I think what I'll do is I'll uh, just talk to him about some of the facts first of all relax him a bit and then uh, hit him with the uh, real import of what we've got to say at the end. G'day. Hello, uh, Michael. Yes, yeah, come on you. I'm Tony Robinson. This Hello, is, Tony. How are you? This is our camera crew. Come on, come on in. Thank you. Would well, you walk? Uh, <laughs> not from England. No. Michael, the reason that we've come over is that we've been doing a lot of research on the Plantagenets, of which you are the one. Yes. A very distinguished very, one. Very, very, very distant one too. Just looking at the the top bit. See the kings of England starting with Henry II and mm -hmm. further back right to William the Conqueror and beyond that to Alfred the Great. I went over the now familiar pattern. Wars of the Roses, Clarence, Henry Tudor, and of course the missing link in the royal chain. All of that's okay, except that we now believe that Edward IV was himself illegitimate. illegitimate. Which means that Elizabeth was illegitimate, Henry VII was illegitimate anyway, so this whole Tudor dynasty is built on a lie. Mm. It means that you mm. are the rightful king of England. Well, there you are. How do you feel about that? Bloody awful, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bit of a shock, isn't it? <laughs> Bit of a shock. Has it ever crossed your mind before? No, it hasn't, actually. But you knew you were a Plantagenet. Well, uh, yes, I just said, oh, yeah, well, you go back so far and you somewhere along the line, you're a Plantagenet, you know. But I didn't think it would work. I, well, I didn't know anything about this. This bit, the illegitimacy bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. It turned out that Michael also had a family tree. He wanted to check my research, which luckily seemed to match completely. Well, there's, 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 there's Theophilus. Yeah, 1729 to 1789. And then he had a, a, a son and a daughter, Francis. They were all there. Margaret the Martyr, Lady Flora, our gambling Henry X, as well as Michael's nearer relatives. She'd have been Edith I. Twelfth Countess, yeah. Then That's my great-grandmother. That's your great-grandmother. That's your mother, Barbara. Barbara. Barbara, Barbara Huddleston had me hasty. Barbara would have been Barbara the first. So she died last year. Strictly speaking, Michael isn't Mr. Hastings. He's a peer of the realm. You are an earl yourself, aren't you? Yes. What? what Loudon. Earl of Loudon. Loudon. I came over here in 1960, um, and uh, I inherited, at that stage, I was Lord Morkland, because my mother was still alive. Yeah. She had the title. And then last October, she died. I was in, in England at the time, and she died. Yeah. And I inherited her title. And then my oldest son inherited mine. So, if you're an English lord, what are you doing over here? I love it over here. I came over here when I was 17. 
1960s, and I just love it over here. I married here, I have five children, five grandchildren, and a wonderful life. But what Michael hadn't twigged was that as King of the United Kingdom, he'd also have the remnants of an empire, including Australia. They're looking for a new Governor General at the moment. <laughs> It's quite serious in a way, though, isn't it? If... Well, it is, really. It depends, well, it depends how seriously you take it. You see, I believe that Australia should be a republic. I'm not a mad monarchist. So in the referendum, how did you vote? For a republic. So you'd have been voting against yourself, had you Well, <laughs> yeah, I suppose I would have done if I... Well, I might have voted different. <laughs> <laughs> Two of Michael's daughters also live in Gerildery. Princess Rebecca and Princess Mandy, with the young Prince Riley, took a bit more convincing than their father had done. All the way down to here, to your grandmother, Barbara, which means that when Barbara died, Michael became King of England. <laughs> You're right. Became the true King of England. This is the King of England, which means that you two... <laughs> oh, princesses. It doesn't mean, like it does mean, but really. Not really. You've got to remember, this lot aren't just going to step aside That's and say, right. here, I'll right, take over. Well, I don't know, if you've got an army together, maybe. <laughs> <they're>... <laughs> this is real stuff. This is real, proper We are the true... <laughs> oh, it's it does not mean we're not believing people, but... <laughs> OK, you want the facts, so it's only, there's only one way to guarantee the facts. And that is via DNA. Would you be prepared to let us have a little piece of your hair and we can run the DNA check and make sure that this is true? The history is very big. Have you got a pair of scissors? I don't know, Dad, if you're going to my hair. <laughs> <laughs> he needs all the hair he can get. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, it was a lot of hard work. I could just take the pennies out. Oh, you could, yes, but well, no. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if it turns out wrong. Someone's been playing up somewhere. Take my natural colour. <laughs> Goodness, where do you want me to take it from? <laughs> In my naivety, I thought you could get DNA from any old hair. Actually, you need the root and gloves. But they humoured me. So there I was, after half an hour, messing about with people whose blood gave them more right to the throne than starchy old Prince Charles. Oh. Yeah, well, that's royal hair, that is. Do you think that's funny? Do you think you're a little prince? No. Why not? Because no. So, so we've got Prince Caleb. And, and what are the other children? Isabella. And, uh, um, Jet. <laughs> Princess? Prince. Prince Jet. J no, that, <laughs> that that will be a new one. He's a 21st century prince. He, he's a card, yeah. And Zach. Prince Zach and Prince Jet. Yeah. That is so cool. And Riley. And what was your mum's name? Nolly. No, that, oh, it's a pity that she's not alive now. So no. Very. She would have been just... Queen oh. <laughs> In Salem. I, I, I won't even say what she would have said. <laughs> <laughs> because she can't say it on the television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, she wasn't really into it much at all, was she, Kate? Up until that moment, my quest had been a bit of a game. But meeting Michael, I really liked the sheer normality of his life and was actually rather touched by his bluff republicanism. I began seriously to think about not only what he'd lost, but also what he gained by not being King of Britain. Not Balmoral, not Sandringham, not Windsor, but Gerildery in Australia, home to Britain's real monarch. Because if you think this is the royal family, think again. According to my calculations, this should be King Michael I, and his family include Simon, the alternative Prince of Wales, Marcus, Lisa, Princes Jet, Zack, Caleb and Riley, not forgetting little Princess Isabella. 
Queen Elizabeth II's day is planned minute by minute, including